Hey everybody, this is going to be a follow-up video to uh, the one I made last year uh, in reference to my backyard railroad crossing that I installed uh, in 2015. Uh, I've had a lot of questions actually about uh, the wiring and just how uh, everything kind of uh, fits from the control box over to the actual gate mechanism and also how the gate mechanism works itself. Um, and prior to uh, installing this, I was trying to look at a bunch of YouTube videos and other media trying to figure out exactly how it works and uh, there wasn't really a lot out there. So I'm hoping that with this video I can kind of uh, show you what the inside of the uh, gate mechanism looks like and that way if you have a project and you're trying to work on it, um, I kind of give you a heads up of what's going on. I'm not a railroad technician or anything so if you're watching this and you're thinking to yourself he's saying that wrong I apologize I'm just kind of going off what I kind of learned uh, through trial and error with this process um, as stated in the previous videos the uh, power goes into the control box uh, through underground conduit up into the base and then into the actual uh, gate mechanism itself so normally you would have a, a lock right here I don't because it's in my backyard I'm not worried about people really uh, tampering with it but what you do is you just pop that open like that and this box folds down and inside this is where you have pretty much the uh, mechanics of the gate system so uh, you have your motor which is uh, for this model the safe train model um, it will be on the bottom uh, this is a whole clear device I had no idea what that was until I started uh, trying to assemble it um, Essentially what the whole clear device is, it will keep the gate in the up position by, uh, there's a little set of magnets on the back side, it might be kind of hard to see there. Um, but what that does is when the gate is up, it will ratchet in onto that gear there and keep the gate locked up. Um, if there's a loss of power, that will release that uh, mechanism from the whole clear, which will... Uh, release the gear which will essentially drop the gate so it's one of those fail safe uh, techniques uh, in case there's a power failure or something goes wrong um, to drop a, a gate in case of a safety situation um, this is a wiring diagram that actually came with it I'll kind of zoom in right there and if you want to freeze frame it or something later on have a look at that that's kind of the main schematics with it but up here so you have your your motor your hole clear uh, I believe this is the snub uh, relay again if you're watching you're, uh, you're correcting me uh, I apologize I'm just kind of going off again my knowledge with this so the, the uh, snub here I believe it's a resistor that uh, helps uh, if I remember right if I'm correct drop the gate uh, so it's not too fast or too slow but uh, I can go over that later in a later vi uh, video also these are your your cam pins and then your main um, uh, support bar that uh, holds up the gate. Essentially, when the gate goes up and down, these little pins will trigger, which causes the different uh, functions to uh, be detected in the cabinet. So what I'll do is I'm going to make, I'm going to cycle the gate here a couple times, and I'm going to put the camera on a tripod and just uh, zoom in this so you can see how everything kind of uh, works with that. Um, so, and if, if you have any other questions, go ahead and leave me a comment in the section below. Um, like I said, I you know, the third time I'm saying I'm not really, um, you know, electrician when it comes to this kind of stuff, it was more trial by error and learning, but uh, it does work, so that's, uh, you know, what makes me happy. And uh, a lot of people are asking, you know, no, I do not work for a railroad, um, but a lot of people, including myself, for the longest time, has been trying to find one. And this was actually the whole gate mechanism was uh, put together from various parts. Uh, the actual uh, gate uh, mechanism and the pole I actually got from a local short short line railroad um, I just want to ask them I'm like hey this is what I'm working on uh, I can't find anything so they were really nice to me and uh, for a $15 scrapping fee allowed me to purchase the pole um, and the the gate mechanism and then I just went and got a truck and picked it up so that was actually a lucky find the uh, lights I found uh, for sale locally on Craigslist and then I retrofitted them and I got new uh, back plates 
for them. These are aluminum back plates. The ones that came with them were plastic and they were falling apart. So I ordered uh, new back plates for those. Uh, the track signs, uh, again, just through uh, eBay, I got those. And uh, same thing with the uh, mounting brackets in the back, but that's how I was able to obtain those. The gate itself, again, another eBay find. It was a hundred and some dollars and it was brand new. Unfortunately, uh, it was a little bit longer, but the only place I could fit it in my backyard was right here, just with all the power and everything. But there's power lines right over here, so I had actually had to hack off about uh, four feet on the gate just to make sure it didn't uh, clear the lines or anything. But I still have the piece, so later on if I ever want to move it or something, I can always reattach it at the end. And then the gate lights, uh, the Rico lights, uh, that was another eBay find. I believe those came out of Canada, if I remember. And what I'm going to be doing uh, for my 2016 project is I have a traffic light that is uh, located to the right of it. I'm going to, be going to be installing a second controller that's going to be a traffic light controller right next to this. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tie in the controller for this light into the gate so it'll act as kind of a preempt for the uh, gate mechanism so it'll cycle through and then when the crossing goes the light will change from red, I'm sorry, from green to red, and then we'll try to do a flashing yellow in there if I can too. So that's going to be my next project, but i got to run all the conduit and um, uh, obtain the box and do all the wiring. But yeah, I'll uh, cut now to the video of the gate mechanism. And again, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And uh, thank you for watching the other video. I think it's had over 20,000 views, so uh, I can't believe it. Uh, but yeah, uh, definitely leave me a comment if you have any questions. Thanks.